Hey, hey, eighth grade. So our learning target today is I can solve a multi-step equation. So the good news for you is we're going to do hand method, which most of you are getting pretty good at. Um, but we have some steps that we have to take care of before the hand method kicks in. So four easy steps. Step number one, of course, everything we always do in our equation work is we stop, chop, chop at the beginning. So step one is to stop, chop, chop. So go ahead and write that stop, chop, chop. You can abbreviate any of this stuff. So if you don't want to write all these words out, but you have your own note-taking system, that is cool with me, okay? Let's keep going. After we stop, chop, chop, we do combine like terms, which is our lesson we just did yesterday. Combine same, combine same variable, same parts. After we do that, the hand method kicks in, so inverse operations to solve. And in my class, we call it the hand method. So if you prefer to write, just write down hand method, that's good with me. That is the language that we use for inverse operations to solve for the variable or the unknown. That's that idea of draw the vertical line, copy, paste, and so on. And finally, for step number four, we will check the answer. Just check to make sure that the solution is correct. So that'll be our work for today. Okay, so if I'm going too fast, go ahead and pause that video. Otherwise, we're going to move on right now. So as we start to move on, we have this problem here, example one. It says 4x plus 3 minus 1 equals 10. Solve and check. Our job is to find the value of x. We're going to draw a vertical line at the equal sign. Us and no, we're going to stop, chop, chop. All right, so the first thing is stop, chop, chop, step one. Step two is to combine like terms, looking at like terms. As I read from left to right, 4x, are there any other x terms in this problem? No. So there isn't any other x that's involved there. So I'm going to say if I haven't used it, I'm going to drag it down. So that becomes 4x. I just drag down. Nothing to combine with. Over here, these are like terms. They're both um, number problems. So I have $3 in the bank. I take $1 out. gives me $2 still left in the bank. On the right-hand side, if I haven't used it, I drag it down. Hand method kicks in at this point. I take my hand, I cover variable and anything attached. So I cover the 4x. Anything by the 4x has got to go. What's by the 4x right now is add 2. The opposite of add 2 is subtract 2, copy, paste. Working left to right, we have 4x equals, whoops, I wrote 48, sorry. 4x equals 8 on the right-hand side. 10 minus 2 equals 8. Notice that I crossed off those zeros. I or I gave a 0 to 2 minus 2, because 2 minus 2 is 0, which is exactly what we wanted to happen. Now hand method kicks in again, because the variable x is not alone. That's our goal. So I have to get rid of the number that's attached to it. Operation right here is multiplication. To get rid of it, we would divide by 4, copy, paste. Working left to right then, we have 1x equals 2. Now on this step, we can divide by 1, copy, paste. Kind of a waste of time. So a lot of times I have my students do this just box in the answer x equals 2. So we've solved the equation. We think the answer is x equals 2. Your job as a student, though, is to make sure that you've checked it, checked the solution. So we've done step one. We've solved. Step two is to check, which is I'm going to do below. I'm going to take this equation. I'm going to rewrite it down here. So we have this equation of 4x plus 3 minus 1 equals 10. And I'm going to plug in to make sure that I think that the equation is correct. So we're going to take that 2 and we're going to plug in. So that becomes 4 times 2 plus 3 minus 1 equals 10, working left to right then. So order of operations on the left, or if you just want to dump this in your calculator and make sure you get a 10, totally cool with me, but I'm going to show my work here. That gives us 8 plus 3 minus 1 equals 10. Left to right then, we have 8 plus 3 is 11 minus 1 equals 10. Is it true that 11 minus 1 equals 10? Got it. So now we know absolutely for sure our check down here. We're just checking to make sure that is the correct answer before we move on. So the top part is solving, bottom part is just checking. Okay, so our next problem here, example number 2, is to solve and check this problem. We have... 5y minus y plus 1 equals 13. Our goal is to find the value of y. Now, I know some of you maybe can do that in your head, but our goal today is to show our steps using inverse operations. So I have a lonely variable here. So with that lonely variable, I said no, I stop, chop, chop. So I have $5. I take away 1, gives me 4y's plus 1 equals 13. Hand method kicks in. I take my hand, cover the variable, and anything attached. I get rid of plus 1 by doing the opposite, which is minus 1, copy, paste. If I haven't used it, I drag it down. 
And on the right-hand side, we have 13 minus 1 gives us 12. If I'm going too fast, go ahead and pause that video. This is called a multi-step equation, which means there's lots of steps involved before hand method kicks in. My job is to find out the value of y. y is not alone, so we have some work to do to get it alone. Operation here is multiplication, so we would divide by 4, copy, paste to get rid of it. I'm left with then 1y equals 3. At that step, we divide by 1, copy, paste, or we just box it in, y equals 3. So my answer is y equals 3. Using substitution, we're going to substitute back into the original equation. So I'm going to take that original equation that's written above, and I'm going to rewrite it one time. So we would have 5y minus y plus 1 equals 13. Grab that 3 and dump. Dump here, dump there. Now you can go ahead and use your calculator if you're not super great with your integer work. I'm going to go ahead and show my work, but you're welcome to use your calculator. I'm going to dump the 3 in there. I'm going to dump it in here. Add 1 and see if I get 13. Working left to right then. So we have 15 minus 3 plus 1. Does that equal 13? We end up with 12 plus 1. Does that equal 13? Yep, nailed it. We got it. So all the work down here is just checking to make sure our answer is correct. We're not really solving anything. We're just checking. All right, last problem of the day for solve and check a multi-step equation. So we draw a vertical line at the equal sign. I said no. I stop, chop, chop. All right, so step one is done. Step two is to combine like terms. Variables T, variables T. Combine all of that stuff together. Those are all our T's. I have $7 in the bank. I'm going to take four out. Leaves me with $3 in the bank. The variable is T. Now I'm going to go over and work on the any other possible like terms that we have. Over on the right-hand side, then, we have numbers. The number we have is 3 plus negative 1. So we have $3 in the bank, and we're going to take 1 out. Leaves me 2. If I haven't used it, I drag it down. Hand method kicks in. I take my hand, cover the variable, anything attached. I'm going to get rid of the plus 2, minus 2, copy, paste. Working left to right, then. We have 3t equals 27. 3t equals 27. Go ahead and get, undo that. Operation is multiplication. We're going to divide by 3, copy, paste. Working left to right, we get t equals 9. Answer is t equals 9, or at least we think it is. We have to use substitution to plug back in to make sure we're absolutely positively correct. So as we start to solve then, we have 7t minus 4t plus 3 minus 1. Does that equal 29? If you need a calculator, go ahead and use it. We're going to take the 9 and substitute in twice. So we have 7 times 9 minus 4 times 9 plus 3 minus 1. Does that equal 29? Working left to right, we have 7 times 9, which is 63, minus 4 times 9, which is 36, plus 3 minus 1 equals 29. Working left to right, 63 minus 36. So we have 63 minus 6 plus 3. So we have 27 plus 3 minus 1. Does that equal 29? Again, you might be using your calculator. I'm trying to show all my steps here. 30 minus 1 does equal 29. Got it. Just a reminder, all this stuff on the bottom is just my check. I'm not resolving anything. I'm just checking to make sure my answer is correct. So the answer is T equals 9. For sure, correct. All right, guys, great job today. So for our summary for multi-step equations, we are, of course, are going to stop chop chop always, but we have to combine like terms if possible. So if possible, if you have same variables, same parts, we need to combine. And then finally, we need to solve using order of operations backwards. I call that the hand method. So go ahead and get those final summary notes down for this lesson on multi-step equations. Your homework for tonight then is to finish page seven, the page that we just worked on, and all of page eight. Now I expect to see Vertical lines, lines drawn. I expect to see copy paste. I expect you to see if you haven't used it, drag it down. You better not you just give me answers. I'm not. We're going to say no deal on the full credit. Um, make sure we're also plugging back in to check. You're more than welcome to use your calculator to check. But I need to see, I need to see that you've attempted that. Again, finish page 7 and 8. Have a fabulous night, 8th grade.